Okay, well, we made it to the teepee. Um, I think I'll sleep there. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. So I want to get in and spend a night at the teepee, but it looks like somebody's already got stuck here. I'm definitely going to have to put the chains on the new truck here. Hopefully they fit properly. I don't want to get stuck way out here. This is a long ways from town. Really do want to do an overnight in the winter in the teepee for sure, if I can get in there. You can see where somebody got stuck right here. No, don't do that. There's a lot of room on these wheel wells. Oh, that's chilly on the hands. <sighs> it's hard to do stuff with gloves on too, I find, but I don't have a lot of room in between the wheel wells like the other truck. We'll get her. So something I'm worried about is where they plowed, because they did plow this main road. There's a big berm. And now it's frozen and if I get in there and get high centered and the wheels are just turning it won't help me so I'm going to chop a path to get to the main trail down. It's pretty much a little safer than getting high centered. Stay out of the way Finn. Look out of the way. Okay, well, we made it to the teepee, but I had a heck of a time, and that was going downhill. I couldn't steer the truck. This snow, it's like sugar. It's deep, and it's like sugar, and you just can't control the vehicle, can't steer. It's uh, brutal. I hope I can get out of here, because now it's uphill. That's going to be worse. You see how it's just like sugar. It's kind of cool to be back and spend a night at the teepee, though. This is cool. Finn loves it out here. This is the Ozan that I put up instead of the door. Cool. Boots are full of snow. Well, it's dry in here. All my gear, hammock. Finn feels right at home again. Hey Finn, is this home? My foamy, little bit of snow came through the top, but we're gonna have a fire. We got a little bit of wood. Gonna have a fire, cook something up, and spend our first night at the teepee. A little bit by the door too of snow, but overall. It's livable. Oh, don't take the firewood, Finn. Bring the firewood back. Bring it here, please. We need the firewood. Thank you. 
I, I'm using the headlights of the truck. Look out, please. And uh, so I can see to get my fire going. I didn't uh, bring my flashlight. But anyways, we'll get a fire going. Spend the night in the teepee. And uh, this ferro rod, I've had this ferro rod since Patagonia. Look at how small it's getting. And remember, I broke it on uh, one of the videos there. I'm going to glue the tip back on it, time to retire it, and go with a different one. Just because of the sedimental value of this. Um, I've started hundreds of fires with this ferro rod, so it's time to uh, retire it. But we'll get this one going hopefully. Um, I think there's charcoal from the fire I had in the summer. I did have one in here in the summer. so. You guys know I don't like uh, night vision, but just see here if we can get these coals to go. They've been sitting a long time. I don't know. Okay, it looks like it might work. I just have to find drier stuff, maybe. I think it'll go. Doesn't take much usually, but. This uh, ferro rod's worn out. Okay, that piece didn't want to go. I'm just going to keep checking the fire for stuff that's maybe a little drier. Because there was a bit of snow that came down through the teepee. It's not wanting to go either. We'll get it. Patience, right, friends? So the charcoal just seems to be too damp. So I'm going to have to cut some shavings off the log here. The charcoal, it absorbs moisture, that's the problem. There we go. Keep going. Not quite. Okay. Keep going. There we go. Okay. Not concerned now. But you see what a struggle it can be sometimes? I mean, I like showing my struggles too because it's not... Uh, all glory sometimes it's a struggle so that's why I like showing that hey Finn I've created fire You find it? Oh, you got it. Good boy. Um, 
I think I'll sleep there. Okay, now I can get in here. Careful. See you in the morning, friends. Okay, go to sleep. So, it's morning. Pretty comfortable, but I got good gear, mind you. But uh, the trick is going to be getting out of here, I think. It was all downhill and I was having trouble. So might be a lot of shoveling to do to get out. So I'm going to try to leave early. Um, I'm not going to bother making coffee and go while the snow is still fairly hard from, uh, you know, the overnight cold temperatures. Wish us luck. Okay, so we got out. But it was tricky. It just doesn't like to steer in this uh, sugary snow. And it was chewing on a few of the hills. I didn't want to stop because uh, it was really sketchy to get out as it was. But uh, anyway, cool. An overnight at the uh, teepee. That was nice. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. At least we were able to get in. Would have been nice to spend longer. But I'll tell you, uh, keep the bell on for March. Uh, I'm heading on a very exciting adventure. So finally we're going to do a big adventure. Alright, here we go. Tune in March 18th for a special new series, Hawaii. Check it out on Fowler's Makery and Mischief and Oven's Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. We were down there for a whole week, so there's going to be five awesome episodes, four catching cooks, and then a bigger vlog video of our entire seven days there. Greg's actually still there. Look for adventures on Oven's Rocky Mountain Bushcraft coming out a little bit after my videos do. So here's a little tease of what we got coming down the pipeline. Elusive Hawaiian chicken. This is the toughest hunt I've ever been on. I don't like my lemon on my fish. Who does a white worm? Lemon goes in your lemonade. Whoa! Look at the teeth on that guy. Holy cow. And you've got no nets? And sing. Let's go see if we can get ourselves a goat. This is so hot. That was definitely her. That's a nice slab of meat. Bring the ball, Greg! <laughs> Get out of the water, bro. There's so much blood. Wait. Is that one of those grouse? Go. Oh, you. Got my slingshot out, so I think I can drop a couple of these yellow fruits down there. What were they called, Greg? Banana polka. Banana polka. Yeah. There's one down here somewhere. Yeah, it's probably deep ankle breaking holes. The owner said they call this like the bottomless pit of death. Hot, one. You did? Yeah. Do you want a wing or a leg? <laughs> <laughs> Center of it. Here we go. I'm not gonna tell you what the flavor is. You tell me what the flavor is, Greg. I, this is a surprise. This is, it's really good. Hmm. It's different. I can't think of anything that I'm not big on it. But yeah. <laughs> survival food. You can have it. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss the first episode of our big Hawaii adventure. Aloha. That's nothing to it. There we go. First fish in Hawaii. Nice little, I don't know what he is. All right, guys, this is Ryan. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How am I supposed to compete with this? You're just raking them in. There you go, here's another piece. <laughs> so keep 
the bell on like I say and stay tuned oh Finn here he's just busting up sticks and he just loves the bush that dog I'm telling you <laughs>